Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another episode of Free Markets Vintage Finds. Today, as you can see, I have lots, lots, lots of things from the latest flea market. I bought several, several objects, including some quite, quite nice writing instruments. And you will see, I will leave them for the last part of the video. But for the moment, let me tell you what I paid for the things you can see here, right here on uh, my desk. So I paid a total of 911 lace or the equivalent of 184.34 euros or 199.36 American dollars. So around 185 euros guys or 200 american dollars okay let me start from this part and as you can see so before i will tell you the price of this ancient looking metallic little box let me tell you that um, for this flea market in my town you have to pay an entrance fee of uh, three lays which means you have to pay around uh, 0 0.61 euros or around 0 0.75 american dollars to enter okay so this little box that you see right here it is a metallic box it has an inscription on it but uh, sorry, an engraving. So, Guban. Well, I'm not so sure this is a um, Romanian made object, but I think that Guban was the name of some uh, manufacturing industry in the communist times. You can see the box is a metallic box, quite, quite an old box. I did not pay lots of money for it. So it cost me only 10 lays, the equivalent of 2.02 euros or 2.19 American dollars. And I think it's quite, quite nice. As you can see, quite, quite a nice metallic small box. Okay, guys. Now speaking about boxes. I have here another interesting metallic box. I know that it is from a Gillette set, so a razor set, pocket edition, Gillette safe razor patented in, and those are the countries and the patent numbers. It's from a Gillette King, King Gillette, as you can see. It is quite, quite nice. The seller initially wanted 25 lays for it, but I've managed to negotiate it only of 15 lays or 3.04 euros or 3.28 American dollars. Quite, quite a nice box. And I love this vintage, vintage art deco theme to it. Quite, quite a nice, nice metallic box. Let me put it aside. Now, guys, I have some interesting, interesting find. This is a Euro translator and the model name uh, Lexibook made in China. And the model is NTL1500. It is a nice, nice looking like a uh, pocket pocket uh, mini calculator it has translation from english deutsch dance francais netherlands Magyar, polski not in romanian but we have portuguese italiano quite quite nice and you won't believe i'm not so sure it works but i've checked for its battery it doesn't have any leaks guys it works with a type of battery let me see because we have here 
it works with the DC 3 volts battery so CR2032 and it appears we need only one but what I paid for this guys I paid only four lays or the equivalent of 0 0.80 euros or 0 0.88 American dollars now guys I have a pack deal so I paid for this small small wooden box it has quite a nice motif here a floral motif it is lacquered but uh, also here it has been uh, lacquered and not in a good way but I paid for this box let me open it for you guys to see so this and this nice little photograph and I I bought this photograph not for the beautiful lady the beautiful bride that you see here but for this wonderful wonderful metallic frame I love this metallic frame guys and I bought this and this wooden box and I paid for both of them 15 lays which means I paid 3.04 euros or 3.28 American dollars but what is interesting about this uh, f picture is when I tried to open it so like this guys I've discovered another picture hidden behind this one and I've put it back so this is the end of it okay and I've discovered a little nice nice passepartout in this beautiful beautiful color and you can see on it something uh, echte bronze and I've discovered this hidden picture of a gentleman smoking a cigar no name on the back of it so maybe a lover of this beautiful beautiful young bride that you can see here this is like a postcard so it's quite quite old and it has some identification marks right over here so we have the workplace of the photographer photo schmidt munchen munchen an address and the phone number judging by the way that the phone number has so a few numbers I believe is from the 1940s or maybe the 1950s a quite quite wonderful wonderful find I'm sorry guys I will take it like it is here and also I will place this one uh, next to it speaking about old boxes I have this box and I bought it because I've seen this lock here and it's told me it is quite quite an old box probably it contains some uh, spoons or forks in it it doesn't appear to contain written writing instruments but i can repurpose it for old writing instruments i did not pay a large sum of money for it guys i paid only seven lays or the equivalent of 1.42 euros or 1.53 american dollars i'm getting to the end i bought this wonderful wonderful little let's say cover i'm not so sure it's leather leather but what it attracted me to it was this fiat logo so as you probably know fiat is an old manufacturer of cars from italy here we have a um, distributor i believe from rome and judging also by the short numbers telephone numbers i think it's from the 1950s or 1960s i did not pay a large sum of money for it so this is why i bought it I paid only one leo for it, the equivalent of 0 0.20 euros or 0 0.22 American dollars. Let's move on. Here we have a quite interesting cigar box. I saw 
here made in uh, Bulgaria and number 201. I believe it contains some cigarettes. And if I'm not mistaken, yes, we have a cigarette here. I paid for it only 10 lays or the equivalent of 2.02 euros or 2.19 American dollars. And probably you know why I buy those boxes is to store my fountain pens, guys. When I have over 400 fountain pens in my collection, sometimes it's quite, quite hard to find adequate depositing space for them. So one box and you can see I bought another box and it's right right here but till we will reach it let me show you this wonderful wonderful box it has i think it is leather covered in leather it has this motif this 3d motif i'm not so sure this is an angel and those are definitely some working men maybe we uh, or definitely they work as uh, blacksmiths you can see here they forge weapons and they are quite muscular individuals this is a quite quite decorative box and interesting guys when um, i will open it you will see that in fact that this is a cigar box with spaces here and here and when i bought it i've notice this wooden plaque well this means one thing guys we have a music box here and this plaque covers the mechanism of the music box but the seller didn't know, know that especially because if you watch carefully here we have the key missing but fortunate enough i have a key and i will show you the beautiful beautiful sound that this box makes but let me tell you what i paid for it so the seller didn't want uh, a large sum of money but i had to negotiate initially she wanted 30 lays and i asked her nicely if 25 lays would be acceptable and uh, 25 lays guys is the equivalent of 5.06 euros or 5.47 American dollars and fortunately enough she agreed probably you remember from uh, the last vintage finds at the flea market this musical box unfortunately it did not work but I can unscrew the key from here and I can use it on this other fountain uh, this other music box it is nice that we have equivalent parts i'm not so sure that it is the same swiss producer as this one and maybe we can find that aspect guys if i open it and let me take some um, instrument i thought i had my scissors here let me see where they are so i found my scissors guys and i'm trying now to show you what kind of mechanism we have inside so i'm just trying to push it out this i'm not so sure how to open it it should um, it should move in a way and i hope that i can show it to you guys how it moves I'm uh, quite sorry, but I don't want to scratch it. Maybe it is quite difficult to show you with only one hand. Let me see if I can. I don't want to force it in a way. But I want to show you the inner mechanism. So maybe I can manage to pull it out. I don't know what, why it's so rigid, guys. Maybe it was meant to be closed down and I'm not so sure how to open it. Yes, I can open it like this, guys. And we have something 
there i hope that you can see i will give it a little zoom guys sorry about the lighting it is a mess here but i wanted you to see what is written inside there so sankyo sankyo i'm not so sure if it is a swiss or a japanese made mechanism i will put it back right like this okay but now let me show you how beautiful beautiful music box i'm not so sure about the theme of the song but i hope that i can find it maybe if you know what theme of it plays maybe you can tell me in the comments so i simply turn like this now i turn the mechanism and i will fully turn it okay i don't want to apply lots of pressure on the spring i think it's sufficient guys so again i paid for this wonderful music box covered in leather i paid only 25 lays or 5.06 euros or 5.47 american dollars I will leave this aside and now we'll move on to this peppercino it is uh, a sign of luck in italy guys it has some tears here this but it could be painted in red it is like a keychain so quite quite nice and quite quite heavy and i paid for it only place or 0 0.40 euros or 0 0.44 american dollars let me put it here now for these three writing instruments so i have two metallic ballpoint pens and this fountain pen unfortunately is not a great find it's a fountain pen made in china and it has no cap so this is why i paid only three lays for them or one leu a piece so 0 0.20 euros or 0 0.22 american dollars for a total of 0 0.60 euros or or 0 0.66 american dollars so quite quite a nice nice finds and now guys i will leave the best for the last as i told you so i have the writing instruments right here but still i reach them i have another cigar box hecho a mano handmade san andres mexico veracruz puros 25 number 5 Heko Samano handmade I think and a wonderful wonderful box as you can see another sticker here and I paid also for this box only 10 lace or 2.02 euros or 2.19 American dollars let me put also this on this and guys now i have my greatest finds what do you think i paid for this lamy set i bought it as it is in this box that it's certainly not from a lamy they were selected like this but the seller didn't knew what he has at first you can see them they look like ballpoint pens and i asked him what is the price and he told me 15 lays and without negotiating so without reducing the price because i knew what uh, i was buying i paid 15 lays or only 3.04 euros or 3.28 american dollars but what do you think i have here guys well i bought it just for this because i have the other tools in my collection actually i have also this in my collection but a much more older edition from the late 1969 so after two years of its original appearance in 1967 i present to you guys 
the Lamy 2000. And what do you think I paid for this Lamy 2000? Only five lays, guys. So the equivalent of only one euro or 1.09 American dollars. So for one dollar or one euro, look what a beautiful Lamy 2000 I got. Of course, I have the other tools that I believe they are to Lamy 25P. We will see in a minute because yes we have engraved here Lamy 25p West Germany and the other one should be yes 25p West Germany so five lays a piece or one euro actually 1.01 euro or 1.09 American dollars probably those are my best finds of today but in a man when we talk about price yes they are quite quite cheap but when it, we talk about quality probably those are the best and i will start with this fountain pen probably you recognize it it is a pelican and because we have here an engraved painted logo we know that it is one from the 1980s we have an m 400 guys with a beautiful beautiful 14 karat gold nib and this is what i like pelicans because they engrave the size on the nib this is a broad nib a beautiful beautiful nib well what do you think i paid for this guys this was a little bit expensive but i hope i did okay well i paid for it 297 lays the equivalent of 60 euros or 65 american dollars i will put this here and i let the best for last i present to you a beautiful mont blanc from the 1950s it has this wonderful ending this logo made out of casein and you can see it has developed this ivory color in time it has a gold nib unfortunately the gold nib it is original to this fountain pen by the way this is a mont blanc 244 g from the beginning of the 1950s as i told you unfortunately the nib is a little bit misaligned the times but i'm sure i can manage to fix it and on the back guys it has the famous key slope type feed you know this is my favorite feed and it tells us that it is from the beginning of the 1950s i didn't test if the piston is working but it certainly it lacks its blind cap well guys i think i paid a large sum of money for this i negotiated originally the seller wanted 150 euros for it but i think i managed to reduce the price to only 100 euros but still i think i overpaid so i paid for this beautiful mont blanc 244 g from the beginning of the 1950s 494 lays or the equivalent of 100 euros or 108.10 american dollars so guys those were my finds of the day i hope you've enjoyed this episode they are all all here guys i like them uh, all i'm especially proud about this mont blanc from the 1950s and for this lamy which was a steal guys only one euro or only one american dollar the interesting fact about this fountain pen you know because you are passionate about fountain pens that this has a gold nib but for an, a person who's not into fountain pens they can't say that this is a gold nib you can see it has no aspect of the gold nib you can see this white white gold and the markings are hidden away so it is a lana's mistake but this is a piston filler and you know when you see a piston filler probably it is a good good one so the best buy of the day this one 
The most interesting buy of the day, but an expensive buy, is this beautiful Mont Blanc. And also quite, quite beautiful is this cigar box. Quite, quite wonderful. Tell me what you think in the comments, guys. Maybe I overpaid for them, but it was a pleasure for me to seek them out. Maybe I could have done better, but it is what it is, guys. I'm not so sure when I will have the time to revisit the flea market because um, I don't have lots of money. I must admit that uh, those 185 euros or 2200 dollars I, I had to borrow from a friend. You know, guys, I'm a hoarder. Probably I won't sell this Lamy even if I make profit. So. You know that a piece like this could be easily sold for 100 euros or maybe 120 US dollars after you I clean it. But although I have another example in my collection, it is very, very hard for me to um, part with it. And probably I won't sell it. I'm not so sure. But this is my problem. I'm a hoarder, guys. Tell me what you think about this problem. Maybe you have the same problem. I'm not married. I have no children. And all my money goes to stuff like this. I don't smoke. I drink occasionally beer with my friends. But that's it. So I invest lots of time and research and money. Sometimes not my money in those little objects. And of course, I share them with you guys because it's a real, real pleasure to have a YouTube channel and to get advice and information for from all of you. It is incredible, the public of my channel. So think of a one country in this world and probably I have several uh, viewers from that country. It's incredible. I did not know there are so many fountain pen enthusiasts out there. I want to thank you each and every one of you for viewing this episode and for supporting my activity. By the way, guys, if you've enjoyed this latest flea market vintage finds episode, please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. In return, I will try to deliver good uh, content each and every day with new and vintage fountain pens. Thank you again for your time. So remember guys, I paid for what you see here on this latest vintage find quest at the flea market, 911 lays or 185 euros or 200 American dollars. I hope I did okay. As always, tell me what you think in the comments. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Bye-bye and God bless.